The SARS-CoV-2 Rapid Antigen Test Nasal is an instrument-free, rapid diagnostic assay used to test nasal swab samples from both symptomatic patients and individuals with a confirmed previous exposure to SARS-CoV-2. Intended for use in point-of-care settings, the test is ready to use by healthcare professionals. The nasal swab sample may be self-collected by patients under the supervision of a healthcare worker. Carefully follow the steps described in this video and consult the instructions for use to perform the test correctly. Let's get started. For each test, check the expiry date on the back of the foil pouch. Do not use the test if the expiry date has passed. Open the foil pouch and remove the test device and the desiccant package. Ensure that the test device is undamaged and that the desiccant status indicator is yellow. Preparing the sample. Unpack the sterile swab and use a loose grip to hold it. Tilt the patient's head back slightly and insert the swab into the nostril, which has the most secretion. Rotate the swab while inserting it two centimeters, slightly less than one inch, into the nostril and parallel to the palate until resistance is met at the turbinates. Slowly rotate the swab in a circular path against the nasal wall at least four times for a minimum of 15 seconds. Repeat this with the same swab in the other nostril. Insert the swab into an extraction buffer tube. While squeezing the buffer tube, stir the swab more than 10 times. Remove the swab while squeezing the sides of the tube to extract the liquid from the swab. Press the nozzle cap tightly onto the tube. Here's how to proceed with the sample. Place the test device on a flat surface. Turn the tube and apply four drops of extracted sample at a 90 degree angle to the specimen well of the test device. For accurate results, allow 15 minutes before you read the test. Do not read the test after 30 minutes to avoid false results. Interpreting the results. A colored line appears in the top section of the result window to show that the test is working properly. This is the control line C. Even if the control line is faint or not uniform, the test should be considered valid. If the control line C is the only visible line, the test is negative. If no control line C is visible, the result is always invalid and the test should be repeated using a new device. In the case of a positive result, a colored line appears in the lower section of the result window. This is the test line T. Even if a test line is very faint or not uniform, the test result should be interpreted as a positive result. For safety reasons, dispose of all used samples and materials as biohazardous waste.